Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to give an educational tutorial. I don't expect anybody to put this into their game, but it's just to kind of go over some things of how you could create a UI button and then hide its visibility. Not necessarily remove it, but hide it. If I come into the Fortnite, this is what I have. I just have two buttons in the scene and, a, and the verse device. And this is mostly all in verse code. So I'll just show you what I've got here. So if you come in the game, I've got two buttons. So one, the button on the left is going to is going to add the widget button on the top of the middle of the screen, and this second button is going to turn it hide its visibility. So if I come in here, I go E. See the button comes in, and then if I go over here, I hit E. I can hide its visibility, and that's all there is to it. But this did take a while to figure out, and it's actually a combination of a number of different resources I've kind of put together to make this work. Anybody can turn that button on. It's just an agent. It's not tied necessarily to a specific player, but if the agent has a player UI, then it pulls up the UI. So anybody can press this button in the game. But let's just go over the code real kind of quick here. So we've got our modules here, and then we have our two editable buttons. And then this is text for our button here, and it just says like and subscribe. So here you would just change the text. Here I brought in a variable for the top margin, just so that if you wanted to raise or lower the button in the editor, you could. And then here is our variable button one. And one thing I found was it's very important to put this up here so that we have access to it. And then we have on begin play where we create these bindings to these two methods. So button my button causes the button to display and then my button two hides it. So I was not able to get, if I get rid of this hash mark, I was not able to get remove widget to work. And don't ask me why. I have no idea why. And what's weird about that is that if you didn't have add widget on here, the button wouldn't appear. So it's clear that add widget is working, but for some reason, remove widget isn't working. So since I couldn't get remove widget to work, the only thing I could do was figure out was to hide the visibility of the button itself or the widget itself. So here we just look for our a player a agent with a UI, and if they have it, then here is kind of the main thing right here, how this is set up. Because what we've done is we've created a function. It doesn't require any inputs, but it returns the canvas that we've set up. I like this way of doing it so that we have access to the actual canvas. So there are several really good tutorials out there on building UIs. They show how to put it on the screen, but not really how to get rid of it. And so that's the problem that I was having was, well, yeah, I've got this thing on the on my screen, but now I want to get rid of it. And how do I get rid of it? And so the only way to do that was to get some sort of reference to it. And one way was by creating this kind of reference that then returns the canvas after it's been called and created. So after it's been called and created, it returns a reference that you can then access. So up here, when we press the display button, we make a call to here, and then it makes the, the button, and then it returns a reference to it, so to speak, that we can assign to my UI. Then once we have that, then I can go player UI, add widget, my UI, that references our canvas down here. Then likewise, when we don't want to see it anymore, we press the second button, and we call again to the same thing, we get our canvas back again, but this time I turn off its visibility here. And so that's the only thing I could do. I could not, this didn't work. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. And like I said, this is more just for educational purposes. And as I fine tune this and figure this all out, I'll do an updated tutorial about it. So anyway, take care, have a great day. And I'll talk to you next time.